All right. If you guys knew how much I tried to get this going. But hey guys, what's going on? This is me, Jonathan, and welcome back to Money Talks where we want to offer you financial information and help you make better choices on your way to financial independence. Today, guys, I'm so excited because we are gonna actually talk about, and I'm gonna share with you well, about four to five cars that are right here in the market that I think would be the best buy. Now, if this is your first time joining me here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So why would I do this video? First of all, I want you to understand right now, it's really, really huge demand in the car market. So that means a lot of people are either trying to buy cars, maybe even try to sell their car. And I think this video will really help you if you're trying to understand the true value. The second reason is, Average person is paying about $35,000 for a vehicle, and typically that's an SUV. That's changed a lot over the last five to seven years. And it's important that when you're making such a big purchase, this is going to be one of the things where you want to make sure you're getting value out of. Because to be quite honest, we all know that cars decrease in value. So the better purchase you can make with that 30, average 35 or less um, for that vehicle will help you in the long run. Lastly, I want you to think about the if this is your first time buying a car, I wouldn't say this video is likely for you. I would say this is for someone who's looking to make an upgrade, maybe even you you just began a family, you're just in a transition of your career and you're ready to take that next leap. These are the cars that you want to look at. And then always, 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 you want to make sure your payment is about 10% of your income and honestly you don't really want your what you pay for a vehicle to supersede about 50% of your total annual income. So with all that being said, I want to get into this first car. This probably wouldn't be a shock to you and these are luxury, considered luxury vehicles. So that's where we want to spend our time. This isn't um, like your normal Chevys or anything like this. This is the luxury vehicle. So I'm going to share with you five luxury vehicles that I think this is the very best purchase for you. Number one, the Toyota Highlander. You're talking about the 2019 version. So right now, when this video is published, it is 2021. And we just hit September. So what does that mean? It means 2022s are coming out. But the Toyota Highlander, out of all the SUVs out on the market, this is going to be your best buy. Why? Because it has always the best resale value, meaning you're not losing as much in the value over the term of how long you keep the car. I've had several people purchase this car and two, three years later when they went to sell it, they got the same, if not more money when they sold it back. So it's as if they pay, they didn't pay anything for that car. And that's important when you're spending this type of money. Second thing is, this is excellent if you're in a family transition, have a family, beginning a family. Um, this is a great car for you to be in. Third, this is the highest rank in safety. That's why, again, it pairs with the family. So these cars run about $32,000. That's right now. But I would even tell you, if you wait a little bit longer, when those 2022s hit, this will probably decrease just a slightly. But with the Toyota Highlander, there's a 2019 Toyota, Toyota Highlander. You can still get, get it under 20,000 miles for about $32,000. The next car, my personal favorite, or I would say it's a little bit closer to me because my wife actually has this car. It's a 2018 Audi Q5. Now this car is very, very sleek. Now we know Audi is very, very known for their high, high technology, but honestly, they're all also known for the uh, safety features. But this Audi Premium Plus version, 2018 Audi Premium Plus, this version, you can actually get this car for about $32,000, $33,000. Now, the beauty is the value on this car usually runs about $36,000, $37,000. So what does that mean? You are gaining equity as soon as you buy the car. So you have more wiggle room with this vehicle. And you could possibly even get it less because, again, we're in September. Many, the 2022s are about to come out. And so you can get this car still with low miles and keep it going. But the reason why I put this number two is because from a 
actual rankings, it doesn't rank as high as a Toyota Highlander. But from style, flair, sex appeal, um, attractiveness, technology, yeah, that one kind of beats the Highlander, as well as obviously the luxury car. Number three, the 2018 Acura MDX. Now this car is very good for utility, but it's always, it's also economically affordable. This car is actually known for having the best luxury third row seating, meaning from a comfort standpoint. This is gonna help you, again, as you build your family, but if you're looking for that kind of space, maximizing the space, the Acura 2018 Acura MDX actually helps you out. And this one runs again at about 32,000. The next one is a new, is a old, old school car, but they just brought it back out. So it hasn't been out in a while. It's a 2020 Bronco. So why did we mention this? Number one, obviously it came out and it's already got the legacy reputation. But the thing about the Bronco is you're not really paying for all the extras that you would when you're going to buy a car. They just kind of load this vehicle up. So it's important that while it's number four on this list, it is a good sturdy vehicle. But again, it's not ranked as high from a safety, from a uh, performance, but it does give you a lot of bang for your buck. So that's why it's number four on my list. And the last one, 28. BMW. Uh, ooh, I gotta look at my notes. It was so good. I'm sorry. B, I'm sorry, the 2019 BMW X3. So the reason why this is number uh, five, five is because number one, from a mechanical standpoint, all the other vehicles are actually known to be uh, handle themselves better mechanically, meaning they're, they last a lot longer. The other thing is, this one ranks from a performance aspect. This is what got it in the list for performance as well as for price. Again, this one kind of stays in that $31,000, $32,000 range. But the good thing about this car is it can be durable for you. And it is a more stronger, more built with strength. Like you can really take this thing off road. So if you're some place where you know you have to, have to hit a little bit more tougher terrain in general, this is the car you typically want to go with. All these cars kind of fall into this uh, same categories that I was looking at for when I want to bring this information to you. Safety, reliability, resale value. What was going to be best from an economical standpoint? And to be quite honest, I've test driven all these. I've looked at the specs on many cars in these um, in this category, but when you're talking about the value, these right now are the top value. And why this much? So when you think about how much money you're spending, you really want to make sure, again, you're getting a value for it. Now, at the end of the day, this is just to give you more information to help you make an informed decision. And if you take care of any car, typically the new, especially these newer cars, they will last longer. So don't let my thoughts sway you. If you have your eyes set on something, just make sure it meets everything. I just want to highlight some of the things when comparing it to the peers in this class to give you a more informed decision. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.